with leg one and two of the PMTT behind us, we would venture to the Chippewa Flowage for leg three. Brian and I needed a fish really bad for us to move on to the World Championship. All trophies aren't measured in inches. Some, well, they're measured in blood, sweat, and tears. Keys Outdoors is brought to you by Great Clips. Quick Trip in the Boat Center. Hey everybody, welcome to Keys Outdoors. This is the third leg PMTT up at the Chippewa Flowage. Big reservoir. How many boats, Tim? 83 boats coming out here, Mike, In it's awesome. I mean, it's legendary water. It's most famous, probably musky body of water in the world. It's got a lot of history, good or bad, however you want to take it, but it does. It's the most legendary water. It's great when you come to a place like this. Town of Hayward, Chippewa Flowage. The guys have been getting them, they kind of have. We've really had some weird weather because the water was cooling down, and then now we got a warming trend. So I'm not really sure. I mean, usually I'm excited about it, but what are you guys going to do, Mike? Try to put some fish in a boat. You know, I think it's going to be run and gun. I think what you hit it right on the head they're scattered the fish are all over they're shallow they're deep they're in the weeds they're on the sand we need a fish brian and i need a fish we are fishless up until this point so yeah. for us to continue on to the world championship we got to get her done today i think running and gunning is going to be it because you're just looking they really didn't stage up for the fall yet so you're looking for them active fish only right. if they're not you're not going to convince them to hit move on go hit the next spot exactly so let's get to work here let's get this thing going and uh let's get day one underneath our belt. EMTT chip up footage. Let's go Musky at dead! Well guys, here it is, day one, PMTT. Third leg, Brian and I, we got fog setting in. Strange weather we got going on, but we need a fish bad. So we're gonna run and gun today, so it's gonna be a lot of moving, and uh, hopefully we'll get her done today. extra split ring on this front hook and it's gonna just tick this back blade on this fat bastard here so we're gonna add another split ring gives it a nice little ticking sound little metal on metal let's see what she does Nice oh. bike, buddy. Oh. Not what we're looking for. Oh. But she, signs of life. She's healthy bike. Oh. 
slime time. <laughs> Man, I thought we were on the board. It's a good sign though. There's signs of life back here. They're in here. The That's pike are in here, they're in here. Welcome to Great Clips. Thanks for using the Great Clips online check-in app. You'll notice things are a little different in our salons. That's because we care about your safety and comfort whenever you visit Great Clips. From after the last customer's visit to the second you walk through the door and throughout your visit. We have increased safety measures in our salons to help make you feel as safe and comfortable as possible whenever you need your next haircut. Because we want you to get back to that fresh hair feeling after a quality haircut from our expert stylists. Just triggered it on the eight. Look at that. I was shooting the breeze with a fellow fan when he tells me I'm a Quick Trip store leader. And I'm like, I love Quick Trip. I know Jim, who first told me Quick Trip has the freshest fuel. And Mary, who's like, fresh Karuba coming up. And Greg, who reminded me that you have no fee ATMs in bathrooms that are always clean. And Linda, who rang up my milk and eggs and sent me off with a see you next time. And the Quick Trip store leader is like, here's my card in case you're ever looking. You never know. Quick Trip, we got you covered. Day two, PMTT up on the mighty Chippewa flowage. We need a fish really bad. One pike for us yesterday. Only like 20 something fish caught. So it's been slow. Um, you know, we've got a lot of boats here, but we're kicking things off and um, we need a fish. So we're, we're gonna get her done today. Just one to move on into the world championship is what we're looking for. Hopefully we'll get it today, but it's time to rock and roll, man. Get her done. I let you down. It was terrible. I'll never fish again this year, I promise. No, well. It was our final tournament here, and uh, Mike and I didn't uh, produce anything. A little tough. Tough year for us. We lost a lot of fish. But this one, we didn't even have a shot. You know, we caught one undersized, and that was it. It was tough. It was depressing, but that's tournament fishing next year. Well, that was it for us. Our PMTT journey was over for the year. 
and boy, we were really bummed. This would be only the first time fishing the PMTT for me where I didn't catch a fish. It just goes to show you how unpredictable this sport is. But we'll be back next year. In third place with the triple. 37 and a quarter, a 39 and a 39 and three quarters, total of 176 points. Charlie and Matt Ridgeway. Good job, guys. Here. In second place, with four fish, a 32, a 33 and a half, a 36 and a half, and a 40 incher, total of 184 points. Ty and Tate Senate. In first place with the triple, a 38 and a half. A 38 and three quarters and a 44 and a half. It's also big fish for the day. A total of 189 points and over $11,000. Dan and Mike Rosinski. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we didn't make the championship, I still went and filmed the event. In a typical year, Cave Run kicks off the PMTT event with the first leg. But due to COVID, Cave Run was now the championship in fall. And it also was now a three-day event. If you didn't catch fish on day one or day two, you didn't move on to the money round, day three. Day one at the PMTT Championship. It's awesome. Down here on Cave Run Lake, end of October. Expecting good things here. I mean, it's the first time we're doing this three day format after getting through this crazy year, getting all the qualifiers in. It's going to be a, we're going to have a great time. The guy's been pre fishing, doing really good. We've got the top 40 teams from around the entire country. They're going to be competing for Top Gun and a few other things. It looks dark, but it's just starting to crack light. I know we're going to have a great time. We got two full days of fishing before we cut the field down on Sunday. So we're going to let these guys go. I heard the fish has been going pretty good the last few days, so we're expecting stuff. Then we're going to run around in the water, hopefully get some fish action for you guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys. The MTT World Championship. Let's go, Muskie Hunted. Woo! Tim. Oh my gosh, nice job. Double up right away for your first half an hour. All right, I got another one I don't like. I gotta let you go. Bye. Hey, Chris, Tim. Nice job. Boat 24, one in the bag. Excellent. Send me photos, bud. Hey, you're going to Sunday. Hi. <laughs> Talk to you. Bye. Crazy, and that's funny because at last year's championship, asked for a Rayleigh and uh, the Blitchards did the same thing. They were going back and forth. Oscar really won it, and the Blitchards were, I don't know, they, I think they were in second place right behind yep. them. Right now, next year's championship, Oscar really already doubled in the first half an hour, and Blitchards are right behind them with a fish already. It's crazy. So we're going to get launched, hopefully get out, out there in the water and get some footage for you guys. Nice 
day one, baby. First hour. Got her to go on a top water, sucked it down, and uh, I let her have it. There we go. Fish here, a little humpback, 39 or 38 and a quarter. We're gonna get her back and we're gonna get after it. We're going to Sunday, baby. Boom. Go, oh, honey. Boom. Yeah, buddy, go to Sunday. Time, time to Sunday, go baby. Go to Sunday. <laughs> Most of the fish have been here. They've been in the basin close to the flats. We got the flats and we got the team that's leading right over here and a couple others caught up here and right behind the point here. So it seems like this main basin and the areas right off of it right now in the first couple hours of this tournament are producing. For whatever reason, it could have been the drawdown they did, but the guys have been getting them. We are on a great pace right now to have a great turn. That's the first one, which is way, way the other end of the lake that has been caught the other end of the lake. Everything has been here so far. So I don't know. I, for whatever reason, but sun's starting to come out, so it could change it up a little bit. We're gonna hang loose, see what we come up with for you guys. Hey, Nate, fish four. Uh, where are you right where you were at? Pretty much, just a little closer to Alpha. Is yeah, we'll be there in a minute. All right, he's gonna wait. Okay, I see green and red, she's bumped. Thirty-three and a quarter. Hi, <laughs> so guys, man. You don't have any more green stickers, do you? <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Nice work. Thanks for waiting. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. So far this morning, uh. They've been eating good. I've uh, been getting getting good bites, and they're actually eating it well, so that's nice. There's kind of no doubters. I mean, they're coming to the net good. Hooks are they're in the mouth, so I mean, uh, nothing big, but uh, they're biting good. We're catching them, so that's all that matters. I guess rather than spend time sharpening hooks in tournaments, I like these owners stinger hooks. They're pretty much sharp out of the box, and they're nice and thin. I like thin sharp hooks rather than a lot of the heavy duty um, real extra strong hooks guys use. Um, basically we're trying to walk it down the there's kind of a thick weed wall out there and uh, you know using a soft plastic here and trying to cast pretty much right at the right at the edge of the wall make a little bit of weed contact rip it and then let it drop down the wall and just work it back nice and slow there. Don't seem to want anything real fast and aggressive. And uh, just a real nice erratic slow retrieve seems to kind of be the ticket. So just kind of put it right on the wall. Pop it up a couple times. Just let it fall nice and slow. Seems, Matt made the comment earlier, seems like it's the fall more than it's the, um, than the rip or the jerk that seems to be triggering them. And Thank 
fella. Here she comes. There she goes. Woo, nice baby. shot, guys. All right. Awesome. Woo. We'll see you Sunday. Sunday, we're in there. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Pressure's enough, I can put the volume back in the bottom of the boat. <laughs> I was threatening to take it. I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> All right, man. Nice job, thank That's you for the call. Yeah. Gotta get a hold of her. Team of the year might be their confirming fish. I don't see anybody down except that boat right there. Hey, hey Sarah, where are you at? We're on the flats. We are, there's a beach and a brown house. A beach and a brown house. Is that right up over there? Oh yeah, so you're to the, whatever, the left side, so to speak. Okay. The left side. Yeah, okay. Is yeah, I, see, I know where the beach is. I'm going to run right over there. We're on the other side. I'll be there in a minute. Uh. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, bud. We'll put you right back. I promise. That hurts. Really making us work for this. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Oh, Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> it wanted. You know that's probably team of the year right there. You're the only oh, ones so. with four. <laughs> and chances are right there, that one fish that gave you team of the year. They're coming great. They're coming clean. Everything. Yeah. 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 Nice. yeah I just put the lure on first. Uh, first cast with it. No kidding, huh? Yeah. Should have put that on hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, did I say something? Yeah. All right, finally. That's awesome. Now build on it. We'll see you Sunday. Here we are. There's still a couple hours left in the tournament. We are one because we have a battle for the top spot right now for Team of the Year. But they literally were leading by so much that if they caught one, chances of them getting beat right now, it's really, really. I mean, this lake's going to have to be like set a record fire. So chances are that one fish right there on day one, not only is it getting them to Sunday, it's giving them the PMTT Top Gun Team of the Year, which will be uh, starting boat one next year and a free entry into all the all the qualifying events. So it's awesome. Great fish, everything like that. It's awesome. I'm happy for them. Out of Pittsburgh, there are farthest traveling teams. Too, traveling to all these states from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So they got a long drive. That was well deserved. I'm very happy for them. So we're going to move on. See if we, there's a little window right now. We seem to get quite a few fish. A couple hours left to determine, even though the sky is pretty high right now and pretty calm. We've got, we had a small window now, probably four or five fish. So hopefully we can still pick up a few more. Day two PMTT World Championship down on Cave Run. <sighs> big difference, big difference this morning. 30 degree difference in the weather change. Yesterday, it was around 80 degrees. Right now, 51 degrees. Crazy, crazy. The fish took off this morning. We had quite a few, boom, 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 boom. Some big ones, big fish this morning. 49 incher and, and several of the teams that caught fish caught fish yesterday. So they're doubling up and tripling up. It's awesome. So, but it really, it, it's the cold weather. It might affect the, the difference too this morning. The wind was blowing a little bit. So the fish were going right away. We had fish that, like I said, boom, 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 pretty consistent for about the first two hours. And now we've been an hour, but the wind's laid down. So a lot of times with that temperature change, especially with a cold front, that wind definitely helps. So. Sunday. Sir. That's all that matters, right? Lost Sir. three. Nice. How big? 36 and three quarters. Awesome guy. He lost it about the mid to upper 40s. The important was the first one though, right? No matter what. 
Yeah. She ain't the biggest fish, but we'll take her. Got it, especially when it's your third one. Yeah, well, it's always good to have a triple. Did right. you measure her yet or no? Yeah, 30, yep. 34 and a half. Woo, so you're, uh, you're up there. You're, yeah. Oh. One more nibble. <laughs> Gotta keep back at hunting. Not the biggest fish, but she is a nice fish. She stayed buttoned up. You ready? I'd say that's a little male. <laughs> this one here jumped and followed me, and then uh, on the figure eight, got bored with me, hit my partner's rubber bait on the figure eight. But we've been having a good couple days. We're working weed edges and shorelines and tight, slow picking it apart you know I'm trying to watch forward make sure get a better profile of his figure eights and like that one all I saw was a flash of a tail and I was coming in on my eight and so I went deep with it I did a couple pops as I come in I was trying to go wide on these turns and come in on the eight and that one just engulfed it as soon as I came out on that turn not the hugest fish but we'll take it you got it Casting spinner baits. So we saw another one. Hopefully that one bites too, and we'll yep, be, that be on the board maybe. I don't know. So it's been tough. We've been thinking we don't know what we're doing because this can't get nothing. But we'll see what happens. Thanks a lot. PMTT World Championship. This is it. The last day. Let's go, musky hunting. Whoa! Day three brought in rain, off and on all day, with no fish action on film. With everyone's PMTT journey ending, we'd like to congratulate the Top Gun Team of the Year, husband and wife team, Rick and Sarah Hoover. They consistently caught fish in every event of the PMTT this year. Third place went to Dave Lee and Bill Burns, with a total of three fish. Second place went to Kevin Nash and Jared Dinar with a total of five fish. And the 2020 PMTT World Champs for a third time now, Matt Riley and Nate Osfer. Congratulations to everyone who participated. And if you're interested in joining the trail for this year coming up, visit promuskie.com. Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures has been brought to you by these awesome sponsors. For without them, none of this would be possible. Please check out their services, their gear, and their beer. And if you'd like to learn more about us, please visit our website at keysoutdoors.com.